Hi. So I got this call from a gentleman that owns a commercial building in Connecticut. And the first thing out of his mouth was, can you come and fix my roof with a spray on fix? Immediately I thought something wrong. You must have heard about some spray on and I thought about it and then I thought about those commercials on TV that people fix those boats and got us with a spray on. That never works. But anyway, I went to the appointment and here's what I saw. I'm here at the commercial building. You can see it behind me. It has a metal roof and they have several leaks, but it's how hard to get the owner to show me where the leaks are. I mean, he just give a general direction or general idea, which is not good. But I am gonna go up there and see what I can find. Nice day. I think it's like eight o'clock in the morning. Wasp's nest. You see it there? Look at these patches. Ooh, see these patches? Look. So this is definitely a problem. Look at it. So the roof, the water slants this way, the, the roof slants this way, and if this cracks open, right there uh, and there that's going to cause a leak so that's one of the big problems when people do a patch with a material that's not pliable or flexible it will crack so there's all the cracks on each seam each seam has a crack see the leak was somewhere here yeah it's not from I don't think it's from this edge because the water shows it comes from the top there let me show you it comes from the top there all the way down here and then it will somewhere show down here the problem is to convince the owner who is not the tenant, he has a tenant here, that there are work, there's work to be done here. Because all these seams, let me show you again, all these seams has cracked open, okay? And uh, where do you start and where do you stop? Uh, here. See the crack there? Look at the crack. Tar, more tar and cracks, more tar and cracks. So the roof, the, the metal is good. There is nothing wrong with the metal. Here's the problem with these uh, metal roofs. It's only when the joints are. And look at this, this is rusting here. You see the, the rust there? This is causing the problem, the tar and the cracks. The rest of the roof is fine. <sighs> Rust and cracks and water gets in and makes this roof bad. So this is what needs to be taken care of. How do I convince somebody to spend $10,000 or more just to fix this? I mean, they have tried already. Look at the... Uh, They've tried already. Anyway, all right. This is nice. Watch here. Let me see if I can get this. This is a rubber membrane. Um, let me see. This is a, a, a rubber membrane over expansion joint. What happened is they added uh, this part of the building. You can see they added this extension on this uh, building. This is the extension. They had to make an expansion joint there. Very nice. Very nice. And to connect the two buildings together. So that was done with a modified bitumen torch down rubber membrane. Very, very, very good job. You can tell whoever did that did a good job. The rest of the roof is good except for these joints. All these joints any 
joint on a metal roof, on any roof, you need to have reinforcement. You cannot just put tar, the tar will crack and so anything you use has to have reinforcement. You put tar with a mesh, you put uh, polyurethane with a mesh. It's like concrete with rebar. You need concrete with rebar. Concrete by itself cracks. Anyway, let me get down here. I'm going to talk to your owner now about this uh, roof and then I'll let you in. My camera. There's, my, there's the owner of this uh, building. Yes. And uh, his name is Rich. And I'm going to explain to Rich what's going on. Okay. <laughs> so Rich, uh, roof, uh, the, the roof, metal roof is in a good shape. There's nothing rusted, corroded. The unfortunate thing is your, um, uh, the roof has joints in the middle of each side of the pitch. So they didn't have a, f a continuous uh, metal all the way to the top, so there's a joint. And I've seen, you've had people in the past that try to cover this joint. Or I've seen it, you know, there's, there's two different people that has done it, or, you know, that try to do it. And that's what's causing the leak. It's the roof itself, nothing leaky. The leak comes from the joints right down the center. And the gutters look good. Yeah, yeah. That's the problem. The problem is not anything else. Now these joints has cracked open and because they use only tar and they use material that's not pliable, flexible, because metal contracts and expands. Okay. And because they use this tar which gets hard, it cracks open. Oh, okay. And that's the problem. Now, do, that one leak? No, it's it's continuous. The whole that whole length and this length is going to start it's starting to crack. Okay. Yeah, that's the problem. It's not a spray on job, not a spray fix. So what do you what do you do? I have a special material. Uh, it's called polyurethane. It's a polyurethane base with a fleece, which is a reinforcement, but it stays pliable. When the roof moves like this, and it moves only about a, a quarter of an inch, but that quarter of an inch cracks the tar. Yeah, then it starts getting into the crack. What happens is the, where those cracks are, where the tar is, it's rusting the roof right underneath there because water stays in there. It, and that's what's the problem. It's not just this, oh, let's spray something on and then it's the spray on doesn't work. But I don't think you can just do one or two seams. It, it's a continuous thing. It's, I'm just telling you the truth. I'm not trying to. Yeah, I don't think you want to hear it <laughs> because it's the country. I, you can do a section and say, "Oh, we hope we got that leak." They, the leak that you that you don't want to take care of this for 30 years. It's the same problem. It is okay. Yeah, it has been there all the time because. You compound the problem by putting the wrong material every time. It's compounding it. It's adding to the problem. It's not because it's a temporary fix when they do a tar. Okay. It's not a, comp uh, a permanent fix. And now what? I got to take the tar off. I got to do something with the tar, and I got to, you know, it, it's continuous. It's, it's just unfortunate. But that's the only problem I see. Okay. So you'll... I'll email you. Okay. You got my email. No. I'm going to get it now. <laughs> All right, that was my interview. Yes, yeah. Okay, you've heard the conversation with this gentleman and I'm sending him the estimate and see how things progress and I'll fill you in with that. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.